fiddles. We don't talk mu that much about them. I haven't really explained that much about them for a while, but I thought it might be fun, entertaining, and helpful to uh, show you what happens whenever you run a boost before overdrive and distortion versus running a boost after overdrive and distortion. There is no right or wrong. There is no better or worse. There's just uh, what you personally like. So let's jump into it and see uh, see what happens. So let me know in the comment section below what you like. Do you like your boost before or after overdrive and distortion? And uh, what is your favorite boost in that situation? Let me know in the comments. All right, so I have several different types of uh, boost pedals here. I have a Tumnus, which is, of course, very similar to a Klon style pedal. I have a full frequency uh, dB boost, which is just an op amp based booster. It's just going to give you full frequency signal, so it's not cutting a bunch of bass or a bunch of, it's not coloring that much. We have the Always Awesome Tube Screamer. A lot of guys like to use that as, as a boost. Now, this is the odd one. We have the 30 something. I'm not going to use the, the actual, you know, AC 30 ish type of circuit on it. This little boost circuit here is very similar to like a range master style, like a transistor style boost. So it is colored indeed, uh, but it has a cool little flavor and a cool feel to it as well. So we're gonna use that, just the boost, and I'm going into an OCD because we probably have all know what an OCD sounds like. Um, most of us even have one in our arsenal. So uh, let me start with that. I'm playing through the Bravado. It's completely clean. Uh, playing through my Les Paul, just because I felt like it, and my clean tone. Let's start with the OCD. As you can see, I have the drive set at about hmm, one o'clock or so. The, what control is that? That's the tone is at about noon, maybe a little under. Volume is to unity, or at least to my ears anyways. And uh, so I, I didn't want to give it a ton of gain because once you get past a certain amount of gain, it generally just starts noising every, gets, gets real noisy and gnarly. So let's keep that gain right about there. First of all, let's start with the, with the Tumnus, which is again, more of a clean style boost. Volume is cranked up all the way. Gain is back way down, so it's just clean. Uh, in fact, I'll do a little demonstration of that so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna turn my volume down just so you can hear it's clean. So it's just giving it uh, some flavoring, right? Okay, so when I hit the Tumnus, into the OCD. Now, without that tumnus on, And again, you'll hear some noise in there, of course, because anytime you're adding gain, which technically we're adding gain, even though it's not clipping type of gain, I've done videos on this before. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out our other videos. We're adding gain, we're adding a volume increase to uh, hit the OCD even harder, okay? So since you're adding gain, you're gonna get a little bit more noise into it pretty much no matter what you do. That's just the way it works. So if you turn up a, a tube amp that has a ton of gain to it and you're not playing, you're gonna hear some hiss in the background because there's a gigantic amount of gain. Let's go on to the DB plus, our full frequency boost. Again, without it, with it, So that's the DB boost. 
And now let's go into the tube screamer. Now, again, the way I'm setting this up, I've got the drive backed way off. I'm about, let's say it's almost nine o'clock or so. The sound of just the tube screamer, only these not very bright. It's hard to tell if it's on here. here. Turn that drive back almost all the way down, still clipping a little bit. So anyways, that's the flavor of the Tube Screamer. Now let's turn that on with the OCD. And without it, so just the OCD. with the tube screamer. And now we go to the boost side of the 30 something. Again, this is more of a range master style boost. Okay, um, let me turn the boost down so it's not so loud. Uh, so we can hear the flavoring that it's gonna give. That's my clean tone. Adding that boost on. So it's nice and round. Uh, some people will call this a top end style boost because it's kind of cutting some bass off. But anyways, uh, let's turn that boost all the way up just like we have everything else. We'll hit the OCD one more time. Um, first of all, by itself. With that boost on. Alright, so that is with all of these boosts going into a distortion. Now when we put the distortion first, or put the boost after any dirt or distortion, then it's going to be dramatically different. So what we're doing right now is we're hitting the front end of the OCD circuit. We're just killing it, we're pummeling it, and which is going to give it more clipping, or what, you're, what a lot of people would call gain. It's really just clipping more. Uh, and it's adding gain, but not to get too much into semantics. So another thing you can do in the same way with it with an amp like that has a dirty channel You can use these boosts before it get the same sort of thing if you put it in the effects loop uh, Especially if it's a series effects loop. If it's a parallel doesn't quite work the same exactly um, But a series effects loop which basically means that the signal comes in uh, gets cut off gets routed out to pedals goes back into the amp and then gets boosted again by the uh, phase inverter, well, the power stages. So, uh, which, you know, of course, boosts the signal, the volume in the amp. Um, so you can kind of do the same thing with a dirty channel on the amp. Let's swap everything around and uh, give that a try and we'll see how drastically different it is. All right, so we have uh, the OCD that's now going into the Tumnus, and then the DB Plus, then the Tube Screamer, then the 30-something. Haven't changed any settings. The settings I am gonna change on the boost pedals is the volume, because whenever you run a boost style pedal after dirt, after distortion overdrive, what you're really gonna get, in addition to more of, a, more of the flavoring, more of the overall EQ, you're also going to get a huge boost in volume if you leave that volume way up, which can be cool if you're driving another uh, another pedal or a tube amp. Um, if you're going into something that's uh, digitally based, like let's say it's a Helix or a Fractal or a Kemper or something like that, uh, you may get some nastiness in it, so your mileage may vary there. Okay, again, uh, my OCD tone by itself. Now let's, we're only changing the tumness, we're only changing the volumes on each of these pedals. So I'm going to try to find unity here. All right, so let's 
Turn on the Tumnus first with the OCD. You'll notice a lot more coloring. <laughs> And that's with the tone control at noon. That's pretty dark, right? So I could always brighten it up. So as you can see, this style pedal is going to give you um, quite a bit of a hump right around 1K or so. That's the Tumnus. Let's go on to the DB+. That's on. That's off, so as you can see, it's not really giving you that much flavoring at all. It's full frequency, so you can use this if you just want it a little bit louder. Just get a little bit of a volume boost, full frequency without any coloring. Uh, so that's gonna be the DB, the DB Plus, or any sort of uh, full frequency boost like that. On to the Tube Screamer. Uh, again, tones at noon, drives all the way down. Turn that tone control up because we are fairly dark. That is the tube screamer, and on to the 30 something. Again, the boost side only. with it on, with it off, back on, so again, when you're running flavored type of pedal, pedals with different flavorings after your main distortion, then you're gonna change the EQ of everything quite dramatically. Sometimes it can be really cool because you could fit into a mix quite a bit better. So let's say for example, uh, let's say with the, with the boost side of this 30 something, we're dropping some bass, we're dropping some highs, we're a little more mid-rangey. Um, if you got a lot of stuff, you're playing in a band, you got keys, of course you got bass and you got the kick drum, and you got all this stuff going on, it, sometimes the sound that you have when you're at home practicing doesn't always fit in the context of the band. Sometimes it's just it's too muddy because there's too much bottom end or whatever, and so you need some mids to kind of cut through. So using a pedal, uh, it doesn't have to be like this. It could be the Tube Screamer and anything that's mid-rangey at all can kind of help you fit in the mix. Uh, one more thing I wanted to do, which I forgot to do a minute ago, I'm going to swap everything back around, and uh, let's do each of, the, each of the boosts into the OCD, uh, one at a time, so you can kind of hear the differences between them all. All right, so again, I am going uh, all the boost pedals into the OCD. Uh, so the way I have it set up now, 30-something, then Tumnus, then DB+, then Tube Screamer. Uh, I know that was a little bit a little bit of a different order than what I did at the beginning of the video, but since I'm running each one independently, not a big deal. Okay, again, just the OCD tone. Thirty something, and again, volumes dimed across the board. Tumnus. DB plus. And the awesome Tube Screamer. All right, 
right, so one more time, I know this might be getting a little bit repetitive, but just for those out there that want to hear one, two, three, four, bam, like that, here we go, 30-something, Tumnus, DB+, and uh, Tube Screamer. 30-something first. Nothing but the OCD. Alright, so, hope you liked the video. Uh, hope it helped you. If you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear them below in the uh, comments section. I would also like to know what type of pedals you like to use for boosting, and whether you prefer them before distortion or in overdrive, or after distortion and overdrive. Uh, make sure you subscribe, click the little bell for notifications, that lets you know, well it's supposed to let you know whenever we come out with a new video. It doesn't always work that way with the YouTube, so sometimes you actually have to type in what you're looking for because the way the algorithm works and yeah, so kind of sucks that way. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, we'll see you next week with a new video. Thanks for watching. I think that's it, man.